back to Inside the Masterminds. I'm your host, Valley Williams, the CP Financial, the nation's number one mortgage broker. We are back again with Vinny Enriquez. Welcome, yes. Vicente Enriquez. He's, t- he's Vinny San Diego. Yes, Vinny San Diego makes life so Is much easier. Is that Googleable? Yeah, you Google Vinny SD, that's, it'll, that's it'll pop you. up. Yeah, I mean, I, I recently switched my name because I started bringing on a team about a I want to say about a year and a half ago or so. We talked about that last time. How's that going? Good, good. Yeah, so now I'm in the Enriquez group. Oh. So I'm really taking my my last name. Uh, but yeah, have three agents right now um, underneath. And mm-hmm. so we kind of work together as a, as a team. Things are going good? Yeah. Closing it's, some deals and making it, things work? It's definitely a different life when you're, mm-hmm. you're not doing it for yourself. You're still yeah. doing it for yourself, helping people out, but also helping people grow. And that's kind of been a big focus of mine because... Being in the business, like you know, right? You're helping people accomplish their dreams, Mm -hmm. right? Now, I've been lucky enough to help a a good amount of people to accomplish their dreams. I mean, helped over uh, about 200 people or so. Mm -hmm. The idea is is helping more people accomplish their dreams. And the only way to do that is basically helping other agents get to where they want to get to, right? So then they can do it. And it's important that... They're fed, right? Yeah. So they're, like you got to be a rainmaker. You, you're, you're a rainmaker. You're finding avenues for them to get in contact. You're making sure that they're knowledgeable. You're making sure that the brand that you're offering is going to be the same brand that you're, you've are you been doing the last Okay, you know, so then I have a question about that because yeah. I have a hard time hiring because I have a specific way I like to do things. And I have a specific way I like to educate my clients. And I don't just give up that easy. Like I really want to show them how if, if it's a no now, how it can be a yes in three, six, eight months, whatever. And so we, and I'm challenged working with other people because, I mean, people for me, because I don't know that they'll be able to help our clients in the same way, be like, look, maybe you don't fit this cookie cutter box now, but this is how we'll get you to where you fit to who you can qualify or where we can get you into a home. Like, do you got, do you? Do you work with that with your agents and clients? Yes. So, yeah, definitely. Well, with the clients, of course. I mean, I, I think the barrier of entry into real estate, I think, is still fairly low. Where, where you look yeah. at basically 20% of the market basically does 80% of the business. Yeah. Right? So, or maybe less. I mean, maybe less. It might be 10 to, to 80. I, I, I mean, it's, it's, mm-hmm. it's a drastic amount that even though you might have a, a real estate license in San Diego, you might not be doing as much business as other people. And no offense to them. Sh- maybe shouldn't be. I mean, there's that, that sentiment, I too. I will and, get into that later. Yeah, well, you mean, <laughs> uh, and so I, I, I tell people, I go, you might have talked to one person mm-hmm. that wants to do right by you. They yeah. might be a family member, a friend, or whatever it might be, yeah. but they might not have the tools available to know how to do right by you. Well, sometimes the experience is like, yeah. um, like if there's an unpermitted addition in the house and like maybe a new agent or a friend that you're working with doesn't know how to address that issue. Yeah. You know, it's like thinking, you got to think outside the box and how to get them, if they really want that house, how to get them into it, it the right way without penalties and things like that, right? Yeah, exactly. One of, one of, one of our team members, uh, she, was, she was asking about the idea if, if one of her clients can buy a probate property mm-hmm. with a VA loan. Okay. Which is a logical yeah. question, right? And, you know, I mean, everything I tell people is the idea is for VA loans, it's just about the condition of it. It doesn't matter if it's a short sale. It doesn't matter yeah. what it is. Yeah. It's just the condition of the property. Yeah. Right? And I think that's a miscommunication that happens, too, with even when I'm dealing with people that are trying to sell a short sale, and I'm trying to put a VA offer on there, I go, it doesn't matter. Once mm-hmm. it's accepted, it becomes a traditional escrow. Yeah. Yeah, there might be work that needs to be taken care of, termite clearance like that, or mm-hmm. whatever it might be. But if it's, if it's a condo and all you need is the interior work, most of the time, there's probably gonna, it's going to be termite-free anyways. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen that where it's like, Will this qualify VA? And I'm like, why wouldn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's a, I mean, there's so many ways. Or, or you, you look at it and you go, okay, well, one person says, well, your your score is a 580, right? A 580 FICO score. Oh, okay, well, you have to have a 620. Well, that's not the case. I'm gonna kick that to the bank yeah, every time. Yeah, yeah, 580 you know, it, VA, got you, baby. You're, you're, st- you're still good. But the thing is, is is based on stuff that's out there, it says you need a 620 FICO score. Now, if you Google it, you're going to see things that may not be true. Or there might be a lender out there that that's their max. You know, 620 is as low as they can go. And I think that we both would agree that to encourage people, just your first no may not be the end-all, be-all. Seek more advice. Go to somebody else that maybe can relook at your situation. I love when someone says no and I bring it to my table. I'm like, yes, all we need to do is this, you know? 
if people out there, right, went to the bar, went out, and tried to find someone else, mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. someone of the opposite sex, mm -hmm. and asked them out to dance or a kiss or whatever it might be, and they got rejected, they and quit never, there? yeah, never did anything <laughs> else and quit there, we'd have I'll a lot. <laughs> I'll never find anyone. <laughs> we, we, we would have a lot less relationship there. A lot less people. A lot less people. I mean, the idea is you're going to get no and yeah. be okay with no. Mm -hmm. Just know you're one step closer to getting that yes. Exactly. Or if you're first no on a property that you really like when you're buying a home, you know, no, no just means you're one step closer. I totally, I actually said that to somebody today. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there, there is, there is an idea. If you, if you know, and now, hopefully, that's not the case when you when you pick your your lender, your realtor, or something like that. And hopefully, I mean, there, so there is a situation that I see sometimes, and it, it gets under my skin. It gets under my skin, and I and I tell lenders this: is that if you know that your 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 company doesn't have the loan type to satisfy that lead, that mm -hmm. person right there, yet you know it's possible with another lender, send or another company, else. send it somewhere else. Don't hoard the lead and, and go. Okay, well, we're going to find a way to get you there in six months and a year. And give them false information when you could basically, if they could get, if they wanted a house now and they know someone out there, they could get them a house. Yeah. Don't tell them the wrong information. Yeah. I 100% I agree with you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wrapping up, we got yes. a little bit of time left. Yeah. Going into 2020, what's your words of encouragement or inspiration for people looking to buy, sell in 2020? <clears throat> right now, the market's been changing, right? Okay. It's, it's been changing. So you really need to know what the property's worth. So yeah. just because a property is being asked for X amount, it, it's, it's more so these days where it's just the sales price, it's just the advertising price. Mm -hmm. there's, there's agents out there that are pricing their properties 100,000, 150,000, well, under low. below of what they really wanna get to, yeah. right? With the idea of getting multiple offers, right? Or multiple leads for Multiple themselves. leads, yeah, mm -hmm. for themselves. And so if you're looking to put a, an offer on a property, I can't stress it enough, have your agent Put the comps you? together and understand what the properties are actually selling for. <laughs> and listen and to your agent. And listen to instead of actually just putting an offer on the asking price. Yeah. Yes. That's. Yeah. I mean, I know there's right now there's rates are low. There's a lot of people just jumping off the fence. Nobody's really hesitating anymore. There's a lot less reluctancy. And so there's multiple offers on a lot of properties right now in 2020. So it's like you got to be competitive. And I also have those out. Sometimes. Out, yeah. For, for any, any real estate needs, please reach out to, uh, to our team, the Enriquez Group. We'd love to help you out. My cell phone is 858-345-7829. Also, if you want a good podcast to listen to, I got two for you. I got the Road to Growth podcast. It's a podcast that I put out once a week where I interview other business owners. And then the sunny side of San Diego with me and uh, Michael Carini. We do positive mindset stuff. Uh, and we do that probably about once to twice a week. And we just kind of talk about our own struggles and how we've kind of overcame them. Hey, I've been in bad places, and if people tell you they've never been in a bad place, they're lying to you. Vinny, you're such an inspiration. I love having him on the show. Thank you for being you're here. You're welcome. Thanks. Thank you guys all so much for watching Inside the Mastermind.